Look at his face. You can't touch him. If we go anywhere near him, he's gonna get closer. The thing's gonna blow us to pieces. Come on. Victoria Mason. Oh, it is, it is. Well, it's probably the last thing you'd ever want to hear, but... You're gonna be a daddy, Keith. What? I thought you were asleep. What did you say? Look, it, it, it's nothing you get upset about. Wait, what? Tell me I wasn't dreaming. What did you say? Was I dreaming? No. No, you weren't dreaming. You're gonna be a daddy. I'm pregnant, Keith. I just can't sit here and wait. I know it's bothering me, too, but that's there's nothing else we can do. At least we're safe. Cruz and Daddy are out there risking their lives. Even I know, but we have to remember that they can handle Eleanor. We have to know that. It's going to be over. It's going to be over very soon. Eleanor has exposed herself. Now we know with Ken's testimony, she is the one behind all the threats to this family. Mama, she doesn't even know our family. Why does she hate us so much? I don't know. I don't know, honey. I think she must be out of her mind. Mama, do you think that's what she's going to claim if this goes to court? They'll put her away for a few years and then they'll let her out again? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Candy, don't even start to think about that right now. Mama, she tried to kill all of us. How can you ever be calm or relaxed knowing that she's out there? I almost wish Eleanor were dead. Elena, who did this? Who? Cruz. Cruz killed me, Daddy. I called for an ambulance. I told them to notify the police. She's dead. Yes. Did she say anything about you? No. She said she had her, Mr. She, she took I me know, on. I know. That's how she got me here in the first place. Well, so where is Eden? We gotta find Eden. Bruce. If she was here, she would have brought her here. She would have showed her to us. Well then, uh, what what the hell was she doing here, Mr. C? What you you wanna tell me that? I think she wanted to get the two of us here. I don't know why. But she got the two of us here. She said something to you. What did she say? Cruz, what exactly happened here? I told you what happened, Mr. C. She got a hold of my gun and she locked herself in this room. I heard somebody struggling in here with her. I thought it was Eden. I heard a shot. I got the fire extinguisher off of that wall right there. I knocked that window in. I opened the door. I came into this room, and I found her lying where she's lying right now. 
You say there's somebody else in the room? There was, yeah, somebody shot her. Obviously, they went in this door and out that door. Cruz, I saw you holding your gun when I walked in. I, I picked the gun up off the floor when I heard your footsteps coming down the hall. I thought you might have been the person who did this coming back. Hey. You didn't shoot it, did you, Cruz? I told you what happened. I was outside of this room when I heard the shot. Just like you heard the shot, right? I heard, yeah. As I was about to go into the maze, I heard the shot. Well, so whoever did it was probably going out the maze while you were coming in. You're gonna tell me you didn't you didn't hear anybody, you didn't see anything? No. I didn't see anybody. Oh my god, I was gonna kill this woman. I couldn't think of anything else on the way over here except to kill her. I wanted to eliminate any threat to my family's lives. If I'd gotten here earlier. We both felt the same way, I think. Well, what were you... Aren't you gonna tell me what she said? What happened? Any word on Eden? And she, she said she's back at the house with me to see. She's, she's dead, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, how did it happen? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to call Lee. Excuse me, Jimmy. Okay. Nobody moves. No. Very still. We're gonna get you out of here. We are gonna take you home. Do you understand what I'm saying? Home. We're gonna get you out of here. As soon as we can, just be very still. There's not enough time. I, mean, I think I figured out this time and now. There's about five minutes left on this. Thing. Oh God, Jerry, look out for the police. No, no, Come on. Not time. Not what do you mean there's not time? What else can we do? Defuse it. Def and don't what? touch Mason. Whatever you do, the slightest thing could, could trigger this. You thing don't know out. a thing about bombs. I know. I know. That I know at least that this wire here is the detonation wire, and all I have to do is cut it. To defuse this thing. The red one. This one. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Cut it. Cut it, and let's get out of here. I think you're right. The best for you and Julia to go and get the police as well, all right? There's no time for that. You just said Jeffrey cut the Don't fire. touch it! What are you doing? You said you knew. Okay, you too much time. No. You have to go and get the police. No. Please, all right? I'm not going anywhere. Do you know how to dismantle yes. this thing or not? Yes, I do. Possibly. Possibly! Well, look, there's a slight chance that that may not be the main wiring, but they may have slipped in a trick exactly, wire. That's very unlikely. Wire, not the wiring. Hey, that's I don't have happened. time to argue now. I want you both out of here, okay? Out of here. I'm certain this will be fine. Come on. I out of here now. Now go. 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 Put up a good front. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'll save the compliments, man. All right. I'm uh, gonna take the casing out, and then I'm gonna cut the wires, huh? And then we'll see just how lucky we are. I have the utmost confidence in you, little brother. Yeah. I'm gonna be a father? Look, I know it's not your number one wish in the world. As a matter of fact, you've been pretty negative about having kids sometimes, but... I made a baby? Well, I'm also semi-involved in the process. This is going to be, this is, this is going to, wow. This is going to be a wonderful little fabulous little kid running around here. I never thought you'd be this happy. Happy what? I'm dancing on air. I'm singing in the rain. I'm all, this is wonderful. I will, yes. It's wonderful. You're going to, I'm like, going to be a daddy. You're going to be a mommy. A little oh. mommy? What? You said doctors can't say that, that yeah, it's, they're not going to be a mom. Yeah, that's what they said. The doctors were wrong. I mean, I... I'm pregnant. They were wrong. It's a miracle. Man, man, well, when did this happen? How do you long you known this? I just took the test today. I, I didn't even know if I should tell you. 
Oh, no, it's the most wonderful thing I've ever heard in my life. No, yeah, don't tell me. Quick, tell me. I didn't know you'd think it would be this wonderful. I mean, from the things you said before, I didn't think you'd be happy. Well, this is, this is like, you told me I'm a father, and I'm overwhelmed with ha happiness, and it's, I, I can, oh, son running around here, a little Keith Jr. Well, I don't know about raise. that. I mean, it could be a little Gina. Well, that'd be fine, too. Are you sure you're not going to be upset about all the things you said you hated oh, about changing I diapers and picking up after the mess? Different when it's your own kid. Oh, when we've got a teenager on our hands, drugs, and, and we got to worry about juvenile. The only problem we're going to have with this kid is whether to send it to Yale or to Harvard. You are going to be on the debating team. You're going to be on the football team. You are going to be a scholar. It's... Our baby's a man. What is Nothing going on? About. We're just going to question you in the other room. So, after you broke through the door, you found her on the floor, right? That's right. And you think this is the gun that killed her? Your gun? Yeah, I guess whoever did must have taken it away from her. Mm -hmm. The same way that uh, she got it away from you in the other room? Well, uh, basically, I gave it to her in the other room, but that's right, yeah. Okay, Cruz. Andy... Don't you think you should have somebody out there looking for this person? They were right out that door. Now, somebody should be out there on their tail. Being taken care of. I could, I could give them some help. I know this neighborhood. Hey, like look, this. I told you, everything's under control. Now, what I need is you right here. Because I need as much information about this case as I, as I can get. And uh, that goes for you, too, there, Mr. Kapoff. Mm -hmm. I told you what happened. I know you told me. But I gotta hear it again, from the beginning. And you gotta tell me exactly what happened. Do you ever imagine that the two of us could create something so wonderful as a baby? No, I would not. <laughs> and we did. Oh, it's gonna change our whole lives, Keith. It's gonna give us a new perspective on things. It's gonna make us wanna stay together. Get along. Not be afraid of growing old. You know, after Brandon was adopted, it really changed my life. Being able to see this child grow up in front of you and, and see him make the different discoveries during the day and watch him learn about the world around him. It's going to be so wonderful to watch that. It's like a miracle to be able to share the joy with your child. Well, it looks like you're going to be stuck with me for a long time. Well, that kid is going to have the best parents anybody ever had. I mean, we're going to raise it perfectly. <laughs> yes, Timmons. Yeah. You're kidding me. No, I'll be right over. Well, you're not going to leave now. I will. Uh, duty calls. I can't pull this job off when I got responsibilities. Don't, go get some coffee, get some milk, get anything you want. Go to bed. I'll be right back. But I wanted to celebrate. You will. Don't I get home. But what could be that important that you have to leave right now? Well, I, you, you remember the name of a family called the Capwells? They seem to be in a little bit of trouble. Well, what kind of trouble? Uh, murder, darling. <laughs> Do 
That's it, I think. That's it, I think. That's it. Well, I was free. Go get Julia. Get Julia. Yeah. We'll let her come down from here. Julia! Seemingly without remorse. The guy's inhuman. Uh, at least he wasn't predictable. I was expecting yeah. to be staked over an anthill and covered with honey. I didn't know where you were. Oh, what happened to you? Uh, well, it's fortuitous you came along when you did. Otherwise, we might not have had an answer to those questions. Oh, Mason! Oh. Mason! Right, get him some water. water. Get him water. Yeah. He's badly dehydrated. We better go to the hospital quickly. Hi, where's Cruz? Uh, he's so he's all right. Pearl, I saw an ambulance outside. Where is he? Well, I, I'm telling you, he's fine. He's in the back room being uh, questioned by the police. Pearl, the ambulance was from the coroner's office. Eleanor is dead. Cruz and Mr. Capwell are fine. They weren't hurt. Oh, thank God. Well, I want to see Cruz and Daddy. Where is Cece, please? He's in the back room with Cruz, but they don't think they want him to be back well, I don't right care now. what they think. I'm going to go see him. Cruz? Uh... Cruz? insisted I should wait out here. I don't know either. But at least we know that they're both all right. Yeah, we do. But I want to be with him, Mama. I don't know why. What possible reason could they have for not letting me be with him? They probably just want to get the legal stuff out of the way. Yeah, I can understand that with Timmons involved. Excuse me, Pearl. What did the policemen say? The police? Uh, nothing, really. Pearl, why are they questioning them? Well, yeah, you know, Timmons, I mean, he wants to know every little detail about a shooting and everything, you know, how he is. You're not telling me something. <clears throat> don't, don't worry about it. Everything is going to work out just fine. What do you mean? Uh, What's going to work out? Uh, it seems that Eleanor was, was killed by Cruz's gun. All right? What, so Cruz shot her in self-defense? No, no, he didn't, he says he didn't shoot her at all. Well, then he didn't. Well, you see, that's where it gets a little bit sticky, sweetheart. Um, Eleanor, she wasn't armed. She didn't have a weapon. Pearl, would you just tell me what's going on? Well, I mean, you know how Keith is. He's, with all this evidence, thinking that, uh, that maybe Cruz uh, didn't kill her in self-defense. Maybe he, he did it the other way. Timmons, this whole thing is ludicrous. I mean, this woman has threatened us. She's probably killed before, and you're making us out to be the criminals. Oh, those are your words, not mine. Are you aware at all of any of the other crimes that Eleanor Norris has oh, committed? Oh, come on! I'm not a rookie here. I know her name was Elena Nicholas. She got a few screws loose, but that doesn't really pretend the situation here, does it? I mean, we're talking about murder here, and I'd like some facts, just facts. We start, okay, Cruz? Oh, would, 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 you guys, would you guys like attorneys? Oh, we're the suspects. Is that what you're saying now? Oh, there you go, putting words in my mouth. Come on, I'm not doing that at all. I'm just trying to protect your rights here, give you some due process, okay? I mean, I'm not uh, accusing you guys of any uh, criminal involvement I, at this time. Do you want attorneys? Maybe? No. No. Oh, Absolutely good. not necessary. All right, good. Let's proceed then. Oh, let's start with you. You were the first one to arrive at the scene. What happened? <laughs> when I came to this joint, the door was open. I drew my gun immediately since she... I believed Eden was in danger. She, she told me she had Eden here, and I believed her. I went into the maze. <laughs> My 
Where was this gun that she that she used on you? The gun that Eleanor used to make you drop your gun. It's right there on the floor. It's the one you've been looking at. Hi, uh, yeah, this is. I... Looks to me a lot like a prop from Star Trek. This? Keith, it was dark, and all I was thinking about was getting to Eden, all right? It was safe at home. Go on. She held my gun on me in there. Let me get this straight. So, uh, would you s here this woman who was uh, uh, allegedly a, an excellent markswoman, and she was holding a gun on you, and she ran away? Yeah. What? what why? I don't know why. Oh, I... So then you, who didn't have a gun, who dropped your gun, you ran after. Don't you think it would have been a better idea to call the police? Keith, I came here because I was trying to find Eden. I thought if Eleanor got away, I would never see Eden again, so I had to follow her. Ah, so basically what drove you through this episode is uh, your need to protect Eden, to save her. Yes. And you do just about anything to protect that woman. I mean, if somebody had threatened bodily harm to Eden, I mean, you know, you would take them right off your Christmas list. Yeah, but there's one thing I really don't understand. I just can't get this straight. I mean, here you are, you know, arguably maybe the best policeman we ever had in Santa Barbara. And you made, by your own admission, four very, maybe more, large mistakes here. But now, well, I, I guess, you know, your judgment could have been clouded by your need to protect Eden. But then, I don't know, something else occurs to me here. I keep wondering how far you would go, actually, to protect this woman. I mean, here with Eleanor pushing you right to the edge. So, I mean, just hypothetically speaking, if you were really driven along a real far away and uh, you knew it was involving Eden, uh, would, would you commit the ultimate crime of passion? Mason, is there anything at all that you can remember about this Indian that, that kidnapped you? Indian. Mason, do you know why you were kidnapped? They wanted me to sign a paper. Well, what, what kind of paper? What was on it? Do you remember? They never let me read it. I refused to sign it for... weeks. I guess I finally did. I'm gonna find that bastard and the woman who was behind him. They say, are you certain it's a woman? Yeah. They kept referring to her. Oh, did they ever mention her name? No. And we have reason to believe that, that that woman is Eleanor Norris. That's Cruz's assistant. Her real name is Elena Nicholas, Alex Nicholas's daughter. Why would she? We think she has a vendetta against the family. We don't know why. We also think she may be behind what happened to Eden. But Eden's all right. Hey, Eden's fine. Eden's fine. A cruise is after Eleanor Norris right now. He can have her. I want the Indian. And his partner. You are not going anywhere until you get some rest. Mason, you need some sleep. Well, I can sleep. But I won't rest until the Indian's dead. Thanks. Feel better? I'm fine. I'm just frustrated. Is that all? No. Can't stop thinking about Eleanor and all the terrible things she did to us. Well, maybe if I'd remembered sooner, you know, this would have happened. Kane, please stop blaming yourself. That's true. You have no control over what your memory does. And when you did remember, you tried everything you could to, to help save us. You did, Cain. You tried everything that you could for my family, and we'll never forget that. She was so conniving, so manipulative. 
She took advantage of my condition in that hospital. She used me, and I let it happen. Well, I swear this to you. No one is ever going to use me again. You just didn't realize that you were stronger than her, that's all. That's right. But in the last few weeks, I, I felt that strength that I thought I'd lost in Vietnam coming back. You have another chance. And I'm going to take full advantage of it. I've got a lot of catching up to do. A lot to pay back. What? Could, could you please tell me where my husband is? The district attorney is still questioning Mr. Capwell and the inspector. Uh, Mr. Castillo. Why is he still questioning Cruz? He hasn't done anything wrong. I don't know. Well, Keith has had him in there for over an hour now. Who's put his life on the line for this lady here today? I mean, how can the Simmons character accuse him of anything? Well, we've been through the prologue in the, the uh, first two acts. Let's get to the day no more. So what happened before Eleanor was killed? I, I, I have chased her through these halls. I saw her come into this room. She closed the door behind her and locked it before I could get in here. Okay, where was the gun? The gun was right there. And this door was open. Whoever did this came in and went out that door. And you ran after him? No. I don't... I, what reasons do you have not to run after the killer? I, um... She wasn't dead. I thought she might, uh, she might have needed medical help. Oh, yeah, alas. But it was too late. She was still alive. Did she say anything? Yeah, she did. Who did this to you, Elena? He did. That man killed me. And she pointed towards the mirror. But you saw nothing. No, no, nothing. But maybe yourself. So, she needed medical attention, so you didn't chase after the killer. Yeah, well, this this happened very quickly, you understand. Well, I, you have a reputation for reacting very quickly. Well, I'm sure I would have reacted further, Keith, except that Mr. C came in the door at that point in time. Okay, all right. Let's forget about the lousy police work, and let's get to you. All right. What happened next? In your own words, CC, from the beginning. From the beginning? Yeah, sure. I walked in the door right from the beginning. When I saw the wheelchair, I was stunned for a minute. I was trying to figure out what was going on when I heard the shot. I came in here. That's when I saw Cruz with Elena. Well, that must have been the real shocker. According to Cruz, the gun was right there. Is that how you saw it? I didn't see a gun. I said I saw Cruz with Elena. Okay, Mr. C, there's no need to cover this up. You know, there really is not a need. Oh, right on, Cruz. I mean, this isn't Washington, C.C. When he... When he came in the door, he saw the gun in my hand. Oh, that's intriguing. Well, I, I picked it up when I... I heard someone at the door. I thought maybe it was the person coming. There might have been the person who did this coming back. Oh, you... The mysterious killer. The invisible... Yes! Oh, now I figured this out. I understand it. So, Cece, <clears throat> please, you come in, and you see Cruz with a gun in one hand and a dying woman in the other. Any thoughts? 
No. No? I have some thoughts. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I see. That's what this is about, is that right? No, I'm sorry. Uh, off the road. I'm sorry. So what happened next? You're sorry. I, yeah, you're sorry. He's sorry. I went to get an ambulance next. Oh, right, right. Yeah, you mentioned that, because she was, she was still alive. I, you mean she wasn't dead by no, now? No, she wasn't dead. Okay, so, so then you uh, were the last person to see uh, Eleanor, Elena, alive. Uh, so she, you know, I mean, people have, like, dying words. Wait, did she say anything? Didn't say a word. She just died. Okay, that's it. You can go. What, you're finished? Yeah. See, I told you. It was relatively painless. <clears throat> Just one more thing. Uh, don't leave Santa Barbara, okay, you guys? Uh, because when the forensic report comes in, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of questions to ask. I just wanted to let you know that I got a hotel room across the street. Good. Great. Thank you. Well, what, should we head over there now? Sure. I'm going to uh, go in and, and see Mason again. Do you want to come? Yeah. Um, no, that's all right. You go ahead. We'll be out here. Uh, yeah, sure. No, yeah, you, you should have uh, some time with him alone. You go ahead. Thanks. I think that's a good idea. Oh, uh, no, no. Not until you tell us what happened. Darling, the police are just conducting an investigation, that's all. Cece, you were in the bathroom, both of you were, with Keith Timmons for over an hour. Now, I want to know what happened. Sweetheart, there's nothing to worry about. They're asking some questions. They have some uh, evidence, and they will find the killer. Cruz Pearl said Keith was accusing you of killing Eleanor. <sighs> Well, circumstantially speaking, the evidence does make it seem like I might have been involved, but I'm sure they'll find a print on the gun or something else in that room back there that will absolve me. But if Keith... Keith was just doing his job, darling. I got nothing to hide. There's really no need to hold anything back. Excuse me, would you ladies mind if, uh... The man and I had a moment alone here? Well, yeah, I think I'd mind, because if we're to be excluded for some, from something, then I really don't want to leave. I don't want any secrets being... Fine. You see, I know that Eleanor... told you something before she died. Now, I, I, I could see it in your eyes that you were lying to Keith when he asked you about it, and I believe that he could see it, too. I want to know what it is she said. Look, I don't want you to worry about it because I'm not going to tell anyone. I, I'm not. I'm not worried, Mr. C. I just want you to tell me what the woman said. Cruz killed me. That's what she said. Look, I know she was lying. She was sick and evil right up to the end. I'm not about to tell Keith this because no matter what he thinks, he'll make it sound like it's terrible. He'll, he'll believe anything he wants to believe. So why don't we just all get some rest, huh? I think we can all sleep a little bit easier now anyway. Come on. Honey.
you think that Keith suspects that Daddy's lying? Yeah. I think he's right. I don't think that he should tell Keith what he knows. It doesn't matter a bit. The evidence will clear me. It doesn't matter. I know the evidence will clear me. of you, Capwell. Where are you going now? I got the signed paper. I got enough money to last me for a year. <laughs> First, I'm gonna get me a steak dinner. Then for dessert, I'm going to the Pussycat Corral. Sounds like a good place to spend the night. The night? I'm gonna spend the whole week. I've been staring at Capwell's ugly face for too long. I got some time to make up. The girl's waiting for me there to do it. All 14 of them. <laughs> We're both gonna have a blast, Cowboy. <laughs> smiles to Whitey and he smiles back and introduces his friends, Whitey, Wiley, Wooly, Wimpy, Witty, and Wag. Wag is sort of like your dad. He says all the, all the clever things. You're gonna want to hear this, mother. What? You're gonna—it's the greatest night of my life. First, you give me the most wonderful news I've ever had in my life, and then. And then and what? Then, Do you think you'll still here? Oh no, 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 not that good, darling. Actually, what happened is, you see, is Cruz and CC are involved in the murder of Eleanor Norris, and they are covering up all over the place. Wow. Well, I know you're excited about all this and everything, but uh, I don't think we should let CC and the rest of that gang. Spoil our celebration. Oh, well, you know, you know how excited I am about this case. I just, I, I couldn't stop thinking about the baby. You know, I, before well, I'm not going to be able to work, knowing that we're we're going to be a, a father and a mother, huh? Well, we're going to have the most wonderful life together. Yes, because you're going to give me a beautiful baby, and I'm going to give you the capital's head on the platter. Mm. You know, what? I used to spend a lot of time thinking about getting revenge against Cece and Sophia. I don't care anymore. The only thing I really care about is this beautiful little baby growing inside mm. me and taking care of the wonderful man that's going to be that baby's daddy. This is the first time in my life I've ever been absolutely sure I'm going to be happy. <laughs> and you're going to be the most wonderful father. I'm telling you, after I'm finished with the Kaplan's, that baby's father is going to have a father a lot more than a district attorney in this town. Cruz killed me, Daddy. Cruz killed me, Daddy. Cruz killed me, Daddy. 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 You all right? No. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Water's so rough tonight. You can see the white caps in the moonlight. You're worried about all this, aren't you? Well, it does seem strange, doesn't it? 
There had to have been somebody else in that maze tonight besides Elena and myself and whoever that person was. Killed her. Now, you'd think the police would be interested in finding that person, but they really don't seem to be. You know, Keith, like the back of your hand, don't you know that he wants desperately to believe that you killed Eleanor? Yeah, but this isn't a matter of Keith hating me because he'd be crazy not to suspect me. I mean, hell, I would, I would suspect myself if I were investigating this. I have got to find whoever was in that back room. Well, the fingerprints on the gun will clear you. Yeah, they'll come up with something, I'm sure. They got the best guy in the department working the forensics on it. Hey. This is over. You don't need to worry. We're finally free of her. Yeah. yeah. I hope you're right. This week on Today, visit the Great Wall and the Forbidden City. Learn about Chinese medicine, old and new. And find out how they're protecting the panda, punishing criminals, educating their children, and feeding nearly one billion people every day. Join NBC News and take the first step on an incredible week-long journey to China. All this week on Today, NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw, Meet the Press, and Sunday Today.